Well, Mike Chang and Matt Rutherford have their own stories this season. Uh, they actually will. We're, we're gonna actually we're writing an episode uh, that I really like, which is um, we find out that uh, <laughs> Tina has fallen out of love with Artie and in love with Mike. <laughs>
next question is for Ryan Murphy. What personal moments from your Glee Club experiences in high school did you put into the show? Um, well, I haven't done anything that, that I remember doing. Uh, but it was just a feeling. It was a, I remember the, the feeling of it was a bunch of sort of, you know, misfits and outcasts who got together and in that room felt safe and uh, happy and could express things openly. And that's always a feeling that I remember loving and, and that's, you know, I think what the, these guys do so well. Like you really get that they are a family and I remember having that feeling in, in my experience. But we haven't done, we haven't done a cat's medley. So. <laughs> yeah. We should. <laughs> Give it time. Another question for Ryan. Are we going to see the home life of some of the other characters? Perhaps Mercedes' dentist father, Artie's parents, perhaps revisit the Puckermans for pork chops on Hanukkah? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think, it's, I think so. I mean, um, I, it's, it's strange when in a show, particularly in the first year of a show, because you kind of want to stay with the, the people who, that you're with, you know? And we have done little glimpses of that. I mean, yeah, at some point we'll definitely see Mercedes' home life, we will see Artie's mother, I'm really interested in that story. I really want to see who Rachel's gay dads are. <laughs> so, yeah, I, um, and I want to, I, I have a feeling that Brittany has a very smart older sister. <laughs> who's I imagine my parents work for NASA. <laughs> Next question. Hi, this question is also for Ryan. I was wondering what feedback you received from uh, choir directors around the country as, as far as the show's impact on high school students. We get feedback from that all the time, and one of the—I mean, the thing for me that is the greatest joy about the show was when we did the show. For me, the show was like uh, the thesis statement. Yeah, I think I even said it in that pitch was, "This is a show about why the arts matter." and why the arts game changed. <laughs> and in success, you know, we do a lot of outreach programs um, for the arts. And the thing that I keep hearing now is, you know, there are so many cuts going on because of the economy, but, but I got a letter the other day from a woman who said that her Glee Club music program was on the line to be cut. And because of the success of the show, they wouldn't dare touch that anymore. The other night we had a panel, and there was a there was a woman who was a teacher who said, a music teacher who said that you know, we really summed up her dreams and hopes. It's things like that. It's constant feedback, but I think more than anything, it's about hopefully protecting music programs in school. And I think to have a show that is about that. It's, that is in such a success, doing so well is a good thing. All right, next question. 